In this video, we are going to be looking at how we can determine uh, the values of x for which this curve is increasing, decreasing, or stationary. So, following on from the previous video, I know that I need to look at dy by dx. Okay? I need to differentiate the curve because I need to consider the gradient of the curve. Because when the gradient is positive, this curve is increasing. When it is negative, it is decreasing. And when it is 0, the curve is stationary. So we need to find dy by dx first. So we differentiate this. We're going to get 3x squared plus 6x minus 24. Okay? And at this point, what we look at are the stationary points. So we find the stationary points first. So when dy by dx equals 0, that means we have 3x squared plus 6x minus 24 is 0. From there, we can divide through by 3 to simplify this quadratic. And we're going to get x squared plus 2x uh, minus 8 equals 0. That factorises to x plus 4 x minus 2. And so there are stationary points. So stationary points exist at x equals minus 4 and x equals 2. Okay, That's going from solving those two brackets. So we now know where the stationary points are. We don't know the y-coordinates, but we could find those out by substituting them into that equation. But really what I want to do is just find those x values for which it is increasing, decreasing, or stationary. I know that it is stationary at those points, but I don't yet know where it's increasing or decreasing. Now to do this, what I would suggest, because this is a cubic, uh, because it's a cubic, we know what a cubic looks like. We know that a cubic with two stationary points, two turning points, where the x cubed at the front is positive, means that the curve must look like this. Okay? It must start in the bottom left, end up in the top right. And this point here is when x is equal to minus 4, because that's the lower of the two. So that's at minus 4. And this one must be the 2. And so we can clearly identify that the curve is decreasing. So oh, let's go for increasing first. So increasing here and there. So when x is less than minus 4, didn't choose a very good pen, and when x is greater than 2. Okay, so when x is less than minus 4 and when x is greater than 2, this curve is increasing. But it is decreasing between minus 4 and 2. So decreasing when x is between minus 4 and 2. And it is stationary at x equals minus 4 and x equals 2. OK? That is where it's increasing, decreasing, and stationary. And that is the process. Now, this really only worked because we knew what the shape of the curve was. OK? So, how can we go about finding uh, where it's increasing, decreasing, and stationary in general? We're going to look at that in the next video.